What is going on guys? I am out today with Mr. Brian Scaife of Angling Anarchy. We are on the beautiful, big, unforgiving, terrifying Lake Michigan. We are having a redo, chasing some salmon. We got a couple of steelhead last time. We had a swing and a miss on a dipsy diver and our trip was cut very short by some very nasty weather. So we have very nice conditions today. The weather is gorgeous, a little bit of an east wind. The waves are not bad at all and I'm feeling like we are gonna probably actually catch some fish this time. Should be a good time. If you see this, we caught some fish. So I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna start fishing. All right guys, first line we are letting out. We've got the, well from the last video, the carbon whatever. It's the carbon 14, that is a moonshine lures spoon, black with glow, and we're rolling that out on the 10 color lead core. We have 10 colors or 100 yards of 27 pound lead core down to like 30 pound Power Pro backing. We're gonna run this sucker out. This is gonna be our board on the left side. I don't know what we're gonna run on that side. I think we have another 10 color. <laughs> Maybe we'll run another 10 color over there. I don't know. This is a lot of freaking line. Fun little tip though. If you are starting out in relatively shallow water, we're in about 77 feet here. We're gonna work our way out. As you're letting this out, stop the spool every once in a while. That way you're ensuring that that line doesn't just sink and hit the bottom, get snagged, and you lose your precious, oh so precious carbon 14 spoon. So as you're letting light core out, don't just let it all out. Do it in increments, do a couple colors, hold your thumb on the spool, let that line kind of rise in the water column a little bit, let out a few more colors until you get it all the way out. Pretty close anyway, but close enough. Downrigger, downrigger, downrigger. We're on, dude. We are on. There he goes. Yeah. Something a little bit better than what we were dealing with one last time. Huh? Maybe. I don't think it's huge, but it is fighting, man. That's on your meat rig, isn't it? Yes, you just moved that. Oh, that is so cool. Look at all the water fleas. Oh, there he is. I think it's a coho. We're, yeah, we're stuck. Okay. Yep. Where are you, dude? You still there? Dude, he's gone. He jumped way out, not that far, like out by the board. Oh, for one, but that was pretty cool on the flasher and Brian's nasty meat rig thing. Didn't take too long. Wasn't a big fish. I'm guessing it was either a coho or a steelhead, but dang it. All right. Well, hey, back out. Here we go. Hey, rigger, 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 rigger. Yep. Here, take this one, take this one. You got it? Yep. You let me know when we need to clean that off. I'm almost in. I felt it when I picked it up. Yeah, now I'm all jacked up here. There we go. Okay. Step back a little bit. Okay, real. Anything? Boy, if there's something there, it's tiny. I felt something. It popped it though, didn't it? Yeah, it was there too. When I picked it up, I felt thump, thump, thump. Ah, dang it. That's pretty wild, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Take it. All right. Meat rig. Marking. Marking fish on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna set this down for a second in case we gotta clean that off. We're good. Not big. Watch your foot. Got him. Laker. A little greaser. All right. Not a giant, but hey, little ones taste pretty darn good. 
good. All right, finally broke the silence here. All right, well, this isn't exactly what we're shooting for, but beggars can't be choosers at this point, so. Actually, as far as lake trout go, that's probably about the size you want to keep to eat because they get a little bit uh, oily when they get bigger. But uh, you know what? What the heck? We'll throw her in the box. We are banging. Oh, come on. I'm almost positive there was a fish there. I thought there was a fish there. Keep going. All right, see if you can get her through there. Oh, crap. All right. Should be. There we go. And that, Coho, is how you catch a salmon. Swing and a miss on the meat rig, swing and an eat on the spoon. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we have some chrome in the boat. All righty, on the secret weapon rig, this cool, I don't know what color that is, purple and kind of pinkish spoon. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful, look at that guy. Little coho salmon action. We're gonna give this guy a quick little bonk on the head. I'm gonna rip the gills. We're gonna get this line back down. That was a little bit of a funny one. I look back, uh, something happened with the rigor release. It wasn't releasing and it was just, the rod was kind of bouncing there. So it wasn't the real good uh, release you like to have on the downrigger, but hey, we got the fish. So that's all that counts. All right, guys, little midday, if you want to call it that update. We got a couple hours before dark here. So far, we are one for four. That sucks, but the meat rig kept, keeps on getting hit. So we have, I think we got two meat rigs down now. And uh, we did get a kind of like a swing and a miss on a 10 color, sort of. And uh, yeah, what the heck, man? They're, they're hitting it, but we're not keeping them pinned. So hopefully we can get something figured out here. I don't know if they're just little fish or what. I don't, I don't know. Salmon are weird, but we're gonna keep going. Hopefully something turns on here before dark. Let's see what happens. Dude, that's a fish. <laughs> Still there? Yep. I don't think it's very big, but I don't care. It's trying to fight. Okay, ready? Okay. If it's even. Oh, dipsy, 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 dipsy. No, I don't know. That was a good fish. It's either dead or it's gone. Things gonna be dead by the time it gets here. I'm just gonna boat flip it. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Unless you think we should net it, it's not big. If I can keep them coming, I'm just gonna keep them coming. I'm just gonna flip them. Ready? Oh, yep. Oh! It was a tiny lake it trout. Was, was it a little laker? Yeah, it was oh. tiny. That was stupid. All right, I don't care. It was tiny. I didn't want that one anyway. Fish. Not very big. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, we, we are on the peanut program, we man. We are on the peanut program, but hey, they taste good. Wow. Tasty. Just. All right. Yeah, of course, he's, he was never, ever getting away. Wow, that's. I give up. I, we're just not supposed to Remember be here. Remember when you said never ever getting away? I, we're just we're just not supposed to be out here. This is the comedy of errors. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my uh, No, I don't. Uh, Should we just pack it up and just go in? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up and then I'm gonna pull the plug and we're just going down. Let's just sink it right here. We're sinking it. He was never ever getting away. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. Let's yeah, let's let's try that. Oh, nice. Dipsy. Oh yeah, dude. That's a real one. We were just absolutely crap talking ourselves, questioning life probably gonna lose this fish so we'll continue doing that the rest of the night but here it comes yeah it's right here oh yeah 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 ready holy crap we got one okay holy cow talk about your buzzer beater guys we are sitting here with a fish in the net and we are gonna, we learned a lesson on the last one. We're gonna bonk this thing quick before we even take it out of the net. <laughs> okay. I don't think that one's gonna jump out of the net, guys. All right. Not the giant we're out here for, but we got a king in the boat. Holy cow was today kind of a mess. We lost a bunch of fish. We had a lot of swings and misses, but hey, we got a tasty, little king salmon we got a coho and a laker in the box i'll take it i don't care if it's not a 30 pounder at this point i'm just happy we got one so there we go guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you on the next one